You are listening to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast. And today is October 5th, 2023. And thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, hit like and subscribe. And then head on over to youtube.com slash Hello Cupcake, It's Me to check out the YouTube channel. Give it a like and subscribe. And then head on over to Hello Cupcake, It's Me to give the blog some love. Our Hello Cupcake, it's me.com, I should say, to give the blog some love. And then uh, make sure to follow me on all the different social medias and check out the links down below. So it has just been a day of go, 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 go. Like my my day started at 8.30 and it is not stopped until just a few minutes ago. And at the time of this recording, it is uh, 6.59 p.m. So yeah, I'm sorry. I usually get the updates done by 9 a.m. and published by 10, but uh, today was not one of those days. <laughs> uh, the last couple of days have been just beautiful with that like perfect Goldilocks weather, and I've needed to get some uh, stuff taken care of, and I was able to get a good majority of things taken care of today, and um, you know, I've been really thinking about a lot of stuff, especially like the last couple of months and just reflecting today and um, on Wednesday's update over at uh, YouTube, it was kind of a heavy, uh, kind of a heavy video, very emotionally charged and It wasn't what I expected that video to be, but it just came out and it needed to be said, I think. Um, I don't script any of my videos. I don't script any of the podcasts. Um, I usually have talking points and um, I'll go through that or whatever. But for the most part, nothing is scripted. It's 100 percent pretty much unedited and just... uh, comes to mind, comes to mouth type situation. So uh, I'm not going to repraise anything that I talked about directly in the video. Um, you know, please go check that out. It's uh, youtube.com slash Hello Cupcake. It's me. And it's the Wednesday, October 4th, 2023 Wednesday check-in video. So um, yeah, you know, I've just been thinking a lot lately of all of the stuff that has gone on in my life, the people who are still in my life, the people who are no longer in my life, the ups, downs, and in-betweens of my life, and, you know, all that other stuff. And I'm feeling extremely blessed and very just lucky lately. And, um, like, I'll hit a, I'll hit a bump in the road and... It'll throw me for just a few seconds and then something really amazing happens. Or, you know, it's just like one thing after another, after another, after another, after another. And it's just been really kind of cool. And um, it's really opened my eyes to show me where my loyalties lie. Like, who's my actual ride or die friends and who are acquaintances And, um, you know, I've talked about this in the past on um, both the YouTube channel and here on the podcast about, like, just wondering who my friends are and so on and so forth. But anyways, you know, um, yeah, I just have to say that I'm very blessed with my social sphere. Um, I've had some people that have come into my life that only needed to stay for a season and went as quickly as they came into my life. And then there's other people who have come into my life and have become cherished, valuable people in my life. And so it's, uh, 
it's just kind of nice. And I've just taken that time to really look things over and really see people for who they are. You know, people can tell you that they'll give you the world and hand you a cup of dirt and technically they are giving you the world just not in the capacity that you had expected so um yeah that's just been really nice um and yeah so just being thankful and that's something that I don't think we do enough is to sit down and reflect on our lives to look back where we were like this time last year versus where we are today in our lives and um take time to just truthfully be grateful and show gratitude to the world to the universe to your higher power whatever that might look like for yourself and um that's your homework over the next couple of days, you know, just take some time to check in with yourself and reconnect with your higher power, with your inner child, with yourself, whatever you got to do, just reconnect. Um, if you've fallen out of touch with family members or friends, um, if it's safe and healthy to do so, reconnect with those people. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be good for you to reconnect with them. But, you know, like I said, if it's safe and it's healthy to do so, I think it's a positive thing for you to do. Um, moving on from that, uh, I've just been crafting a lot lately and, uh, I have a big event coming up next week on the 13th and the 14th that I am really excited about. And, uh, I've been running the gambit of just emotions over this, like I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm nervous and scared and, Um, I'm getting support in one aspect of my life about it. And then the other aspect where I would expect support to come from certain people, I'm getting backlash and kind of like negative input. And I'm just like, what the hell, you know, what, what is that all about? But, uh, for the most part, you know, I'm, I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to stay motivated and I'm trying to stay focused and just like, yep, this is what we need to do. This is what's going on in life and going from there. And, um, you know, the last couple of days, like I said, have been beautiful and I have been able to get things taken care of. Um, I, I still have a lot of stuff that I need to do in my like domestic life. Like, there's stuff that I need to get done around the house and there's stuff that I need to just take care of, but, um, money constantly being the issue, uh, that's kind of what's holding me back in that regard. But you know what? I'm putting it out into the universe that things continue to move smoothly and easily and free flowing as they have been. And I'm, I can only do I can only take care of things with what I have available to me. And right now I have some things available to me. There's other things I don't have available to me and I need to just have the grace and the know all to, uh, go through with whatever I can. So anyways, um, outside of that, just like, yeah. So, Oh, God. Switching gears and talking about stuff that's a little bit more fun, geeky, and nerdy. uh, Ahsoka. If you guys have not watched that and you are Star Wars fans, you are freaking missing out. Get on Disney Plus or on a tube site or something and start watching the Star Wars TV shows. The Book of Boba Fett. The Mandalorian, Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, they are all 
really freaking amazing and they are cinema quality and I am just geeking out with Ahsoka right now. Um, so good. And, um, there's another program that I watch called Only Murderers in the Building and it's got Selena Gomez, Steve Martin, and Martin Short in it. And, oh my god, such a good program. We're in season three this year. Or this season has Paul Rudd and um, Meryl Streep in it, and they and Matthew Broderick and Meryl Streep. I'm sorry, she is my woman crush. Like she is just so stoic and like classic and timeless and just an amazing actress. I've always loved Meryl Streep. And I love Martin Short, and I love Steve Martin, and I'm really appreciating Selena Gomez, especially for her acting. I used to watch her in Wizards of Waverly Place when my niece was younger and stuff like that, and it was like, okay, she's a, you know, Disney teeny bopper or whatever, but, like, seeing her in these more mature adult roles, I really have come to appreciate her, and I love her music. I just think she's an amazing artist. And, um, like, I loved her when she was with Justin Bieber and, like, just the collabs that she did with him and some of the songs that came from that. Just amazing. So, um, that's a couple of the shows that I've been watching that I'm, like, really enjoying. And, um, I recently had the chance to watch the horror movie Talk To Me. Oh my god, guys, if you like horror movies, this movie is for you. And it came out on DVD, Blu-ray, October 3rd. And um, perfect timing for a good Halloween Scarefest type movie. It's kind of psychological, kind of slow burn, um, but really, really good. If you've already seen it, let me know what you think. Put your um, stuff in the comments down below. But, uh, yeah. So, you know, I'm a TV buff and I love my movies and stuff like that. And I actually talked to my mom today and we were going over the new Iron Man. um, What is it? Iron Man 4 trailer that that just came out. And she's like, wait a minute. (laughs) So, I... (laughs) My mom is a 70-year-old geek. And I'm turning her into more of a geek as the time goes by. And so um, I'll tell her, Mom, you got to watch the superhero movie. Okay, okay, fine. And she'll watch it. She, oh, my God, that was so good. Okay, so now we got to talk about why the Hulk did this and how uh, Iron Man did that and why this happened and why that happened. And then she goes on and she talks to all of her friends about it and my cousins and stuff. They're just like, Auntie, how do you know about all of this? And she's like, because my son is a nerd and I love it. And so it's... It's really fun to, like, listen to her at her age get excited about, like, nerdy, geeky stuff. And it also gives me someone else to kind of talk to and um, kind of pass that information on. So I have a lot of fun with that. But, um, yeah. So that's pretty fun. Uh, And tomorrow I am really looking forward to going to the YMCA and just swimming because I feel like I need to move my body like um Wednesday we didn't have an instructor so it was kind of a free-for-all and uh I I don't know I used to like just being able to go to the pool and do my own thing but it's become routine now and now that it's a routine it throws me off when I don't have that routine. And so um, I'm looking forward to just getting in there and like moving and swimming and doing all the things. And uh, this weekend, I thought I had plans for Saturday. Uh, Was supposed to go over to the Seattle area and that got changed. So now I think instead of doing all of that, I'm just going to stay home 
and get some more things taken care of and then head over to my sister's on Sunday. And then Monday, um, because it's a holiday, it's indigenous, indigenous persons day or indigenous people's day. I don't know how, how they're saying it now, but, um, formerly Christopher Columbus day, uh, the YMCA is going to be closed. So me and a couple of the ladies from, uh, the swim class, we're going to meet up for coffee and just kind of hang out and maybe go to Goodwill and stuff like that. I don't really know exactly what the plans are, but we're going to kind of, uh, cement them in on, uh, tomorrow and just kind of take it from there. So yeah, it's going to be a good, long, relaxing three day weekend. And, uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So do you have anything planned for this weekend? I would love to hear it. Uh, so anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. But like I said in the beginning, make sure that you follow me on all the different social medias and uh, check out the links down below. Some of them are affiliate links, so I will get a little bit of a kickback. And uh, if you want to support me, you can hit that buy me a coffee button and that will um, help me with just a few things. And as always, thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You have been listening to Hello Cupcake, It's Me, a podcast with your host, Michael Peterson. Please make sure to check back often as new episodes are released bi-weekly. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send a message to Hello Cupcake, It's Me at gmail.com. And until next time, stay happy, safe, and keep doing the best you can with what you have been given.